Hi, it's Dave Usum from the Neuroradiology Division of Johns Hopkins Hospital. I'd like to share with you one of our Neuroradiology Pearls and Pitfalls presentations. This first case is a 37-year-old woman who presented three months after bariatric surgery with confusion, ataxia, and ophthalmoplegia. What you're seeing are three images from the patient's flare scan in which there is bright signal intensity on the flare scan in the periaqueductal gray matter as well as in the posterior midbrain, as well as in the medial thalamide bilaterally and fairly symmetrically. If you look on the diffusion weighted scan to your bottom right, it's very bright on the diffusion weighted scan. In some cases with this entity, the patient has enhancement also of the abnormality. So what would be the etiology for this? The correct diagnosis in this case is thiamine deficiency. This is a bilateral symmetrical process which typically affects the periaqueductal gray matter, the mammillary bodies, the forniceal regions, as well as the medial thalami. You may see restricted diffusion and you may see contrast enhancement. The importance about making this specific diagnosis is that if it is caught early, the patient's symptoms are reversible. However, if there is a delay in diagnosis, the patient's symptoms may become irreversible and they may develop an encephalopathy known as Wernicke-Korsakoff psychosis, which is a devastating abnormality. Now, patients who have had bariatric surgery where portions of their stomach have been resected may have the absence of absorption of thiamine secondary to their surgery or due to their nutritional changes after the surgery leading to thiamine deficiency. The differential diagnosis here is relatively limited. You can have artery of Percheron basilar artery thrombosis leading to a stroke, or the differential diagnosis might include a venous infarction or less likely a tumor. So this is a diagnosis that should be made and is an important one with respect to the reversibility of the symptoms. If you'd like to see additional presentations of this type on the neuroradiology pearls and pitfalls, please see our Johns Hopkins Facebook pages, which include the e-radiology learning Facebook page, or specific to neuroradiology is our Johns Hopkins Neuroradiology divisional Facebook page. Thank you very much. I hope I see you on the internet.